show. All right, Storm Chasers, we are back. And apparently, there was some... May, I don't, why did camera want to go down as soon as we start? That is so weird. Then the phone want to go off, too? There we go. All right, we kind of kind of make it work. Anyway, apparently, there was beef that went down at the Zeus Network and Nick Cannon-sponsored event. Apparently, the Jocelyn Cabaret girls and the Baddies girls were supposed to do some kind of a roasting back and forth event. I really don't know who in their right mind thought that the Jocelyn Cabaret girls and the Baddies girls were going to be able to roast each other civilly and leave it at that. But it was a lot that went down. We got some exclusive tea from Armand Wiggins. We're going to play that. And um, yeah, let's wait for everybody to get in here now. I know it takes a minute for the notifications to come out let me look at the channel now there we go yep 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 yep. they're coming in i know it takes a little while for everything to come out shout out to dominique yep shout out to natasha yep 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 see kiana i see you in here too okay so let's go ahead and share the screen Alrighty, Pamela Lee said we here. I know, I know. It always, it always, it takes a little minute for the things to come up. Third point said those new commercials be annoying. Hey, I got bills to pay though. I appreciate them. Let's thank God for the ads. Anyway, so like I was saying, there was um, a roasting event between the Jocelyn Cabaret girls and the Baddies East girls, and from what I was told, when the Jocelyn Cabaret girls came on stage, they were all wearing T-shirts. Of Natalie Nunn eating out Scotty. So I don't know. Li- listen, listen. You know, when I watch stuff like the baddies and Jocelyn's cabaret, like it, you know, I'm always in and out. You know, after a while it becomes a lot. And I kept trying to figure out for the longest time, like, why, you know, it's not that the shows aren't necessarily good, but it's like, why does it lose me after a while? And I think that these shows tend to like lose my attention after a while simply because there's no storyline with the fighting like these girls are literally just windmilling and banging for no reason okay so so anyway here it is jocelyn the jocelyn girl the cabaret girls on their t-shirts they got screenshots from natalie's only fans page of her eating out scotty wow 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 all right so then Natalie posted this on her story. She said, let me show you. You put your hands on the wrong person, making people billions, and they want to put me in a chokehold, all right? So it went down between Natalie and Jocelyn, and Natalie said, see me in the ring, all right? No bodyguards, no Kokiana, see me in the ring, okay? I need y'all to let me know in the chat right now who y'all got in the fight. Natalie versus Jocelyn, who would win a boxing match? Now, with street fight, Jocelyn might actually win but who would win in the actual boxing match where you got to have technique you can't grapple you can't kick you can't bite you can't choke none of that all right all right natalie said again on story ha 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 ha. i run la never again free agent all right whatever that means it means okay third queen said neither Natasha said, you got Natalie Nunn, you got Natalie, Wit got Jocelyn, Sunset's got Jocelyn. That's interesting. Okay. So let's get off of here and let's go up. I'm going to tell y'all something right now. The security going to put the, they want to hold me down. They want to hold all they of us. Hold the baddies down. They want to hold the baddies down. They want to hold all of us. The baddies got a jump, of course. <laughs> They want to hold the baddies down. That's how mad they are. But Jocelyn, I heard you was eating Mona Scott's ass. Jocelyn was hiding behind the security the whole fucking Jocelyn time. Jocelyn was running to the bathroom every five minutes to get more fucking cocaine up her up. nose. And then hiding behind the security while all the shit going. That's why I said. I told her pussy. Yeah. I said pussy asshole. Step up. Wow. So it's always fun and games, right? Until Natalie plays. Let's play. Hello. Let's play. I'm going to tell y'all something right now. All right. All right, so it's on. So Natalie making it public and making it known that she wants to fight Jocelyn. Now, I'm going to say this. Jocelyn, 
the print the, the the Puerto Rican princess, she's always there to fight a girl that's weaker than her. Is she gonna be here for an actual match? I want to see what Jocelyn made of. Off the cocaine, that's not fair. That ain't nothing but a performance enhancing drug. I need a clean fight. I need them both to train. I need a whole event. And I want to see Jocelyn and Natalie step in the rain and see who hands prevail. But do y'all believe? Do y'all believe that Jocelyn actually ate Mona Scott's coochie and her? Her, her, her booty hole do y'all believe do y'all believe it i mean it's the industry it's possible but i'm just i'm just asking uh, that would explain why jocelyn was so upset with mona when everything went down the way that it did oh my god mm. all right so i think that was all we had on that so let's actually go over to twitter because Armand was there, all right? Armand was there at the baddies taping, baddies and Jocelyn Caballeros. He was actually there. So, and he was there in the VIP. So he caught all the tea, all right? He caught all of the tea and gave uh, uh, an eight minute breakdown here. So we finna listen to this on the Twitter and uh, or X as they call it now. Let's get into it. And shout out to Bad Girls Club T on tw Twitter and shout out to Mobs World. I think that's... Uh, that's my radio. That's Milagro. Yep, Milagro. Yep, there she go. Natalie, get her lick back. It's no shade. They did not let Jocelyn get touched. Security did not let Natalie get her lick back. It's no shade. Jocelyn twirled around. They did not let Natalie get her. They did not let Natalie get her. They didn't let Natalie get her. I will say, if I'm being fair, it felt like they was holding the baddies back a little bit more. They was holding the baddies back a little bit more. But bitch, I don't know what this tea is, but Glorilla's people, girl, they end up getting into a fight with Taseki and her team, the dancers. And Taseki friend was like, bitch, you had died a day, bitch, and your baby had died a day. And fuck Glorilla, you a bitch. Taseki beating on the motherfucker. I do have a little bit of video footage, but I can't post it because, girl, uh, somebody... But girl, now here's the thing. You're not gonna see no video leak video footage unless Zeus Network leak it because they made us put our phone in that little ziplock thing. So bitch, you're just gonna have to wait for the trailer and the shit to come out. But bitch, uh, the game on I will say oh, died a day, bitch. Oh, Zeus then got hip. So Zeus then got hip, and now they make you put your oh okay. Then Zeus said you will not be leaking any footage. And your baby a died a day and fuck globally, you a bitch. To say you beating on the motherfucker. I do have a little bit of video footage, but I can't post it because girl. Uh, somebody, but girl, now here's the thing. You're not going to see, you know, video leak, video footage unless Zeus Network leak it because they made us put our phone in that little Ziploc thing. So bitch, you're just going to have to wait for the trailer and the shit to come out. But bitch, the game only lasted one round. But the whole thing is when the baddies came out, when the baddies came out, bitch, when the baddies came out, they was doing their thing. Bitch, Jocelyn bum rushes the stage and interrupts the intro. Bitches start breaking off nails. <laughs> they scrapping it. They were scrapping in there for real. Oh my god! Now, with uh, Ape said, y'all better start carrying audio recordings of spy cameras. Listen, that's that's gonna be the next thing to go back old school and 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 wear a wire. Okay. Now I didn't just put y'all on game. Now why? Well, now y'all finna start doing that. I'm going to start doing that. If I go to these events, wear a wire, push on the shelf. You always have the audio, even though they're going to make you go through. Um... What? What is this? OK, even though, uh, you know, they're going to make you go through metal detectors, of course, and they, they probably pat you down. Maybe a GoPro. Maybe like a like a little tiny camera you can put like in a pin on your coat. It's a way to do it. I need to I need to make friends with a private investigator. That's what I need to do. Some detectives. She start calling Natalie a hoe. She starts saying Natalie mama's a hoe. She starts talking about her fucking daddy. And Jocelyn kicked it off. She put her hands on. She like Natalie. So she asked Natalie a question. 
about fucking with Scotty and having the OnlyFans. Natalie took it like a G. She took it respectfully. You play the game. You do your thing. She asked Jocelyn one question. She didn't ask her a cocaine question. Now, I'm not going to hold you. Jocelyn kept walking off the stage. Her shit. She kept leaving. I don't want to put allegations on somebody, but bitch, one plus one equals two, bitch. Miss Dean was in rare form tonight. Natalie asked her one question about her fucking and eating Mona Scott's pussy and eating this pussy and eating that. And bitch, Jocelyn just said, bow. Ooh. So the question about Jocelyn eating Mona Scott's. Wow. Can y'all even imagine Jocelyn and Mona Scott getting down? Oh my God. What if Jocelyn, Mona, and Stevie all did a three way? Now we just talking all allegedly. I don't want no smoke from Mona Scott, but I'm just saying this really got me thinking like, what did them girls really do? To get them raw, to get them damn contracts over there at Love and Hip Hop. Remember, they was paying, I think by the last season, I want to say, what, Jocelyn was getting 50K an episode? They, they was paying the money because Jocelyn was bringing in the views. Ain't nobody even talked about no damn Love and Hip Hop again until Erica Mena called Spice all kinds of monkeys. The truth hurt. Yes, it does. They say a hit dog will holler. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And bitch, all the girls. It just bitch, everybody, bitch. He's so dramatic. It was knocking after knocking after knocking. I'm like, ah! And I tried a good seat, bitch, because I was in the VIP. So, bitch, I was up there with every bitch. I, I saw it all. It was a lot of tea, bitch. I'm gagging. And I know Nick Cannon is over there gagging, bitch. I know Nick Cannon is over there gagging, bitch. Then Jocelyn bends over and starts smacking her ass in front of Nick Cannon. Oh, my God. I look over at Ballistic, and Ballistic is like not feeling that. And Nick Cannon's talking about, don't play with me, Jocelyn. You'll have another motherfucking baby. <laughs> this is really happening. Like, in my face, happening. I'm gagging. I'm over here like, girl, this Zeus Network shit really goes up. This shit really goes up. This shit really goes up. Like, bitch, this was not manufactured. This was not fake. This shit really went the fuck up, bitch. I This shit was better than motherfucking watching on TV. Because, bitch, you really be like, oh, my God. This happened. Oh, my God. I'm gagging, bitch. I'm gagging. That was entertainment. Bitch, it was a fucking mess, but bitch. Now I just saw somebody comment that said Zen Law said she should try MMA and really get paid for fighting. I truly think Jocelyn has missed her calling and she should just be a part of the WWE. I don't know why her management, I don't know who her management is. I guess it's ballistic. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I mean, she's not gonna run shit over there on WWE. They got rules and regulations. She's gonna have to get in line and stay in line. But I don't know why she just don't become a damn WWE wrestler. Jocelyn got the build, <laughs> the performance. She already makes subpar music. Yeah, Jocelyn is literally a WWE diva. Y'all say MMA? They drug test, though. That's the only thing. I think WWE does, too. Too X-rated for viewers. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Well, hell, well yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. I'm gagging. I'm gagging, bitch. I'm, I'm over here gagging. Bitch, and Tseki and her team, bitch, check, busting through the fucking wind, trying to bust through the fucking wind. First of all, Tseki was already checking the bitch for standing too close to her fucking man. On the stage, the bitch said, hey, move around. Don't stand too close to my fucking man, bitch. I'm like, oh, my God. She don't fucking play no games. Bitch, you don't stand too close to my fucking man, bitch. We in the VIP section. She on the stage, and she checking shit from the... Bitch, move around, bitch. 
Glorilla did perform, but bitch, then her and her team end up getting into a fight with Taseki and her team. Yes. Bitch, and I, this is not no hearsay. Bitch, I'm here. I'm here. I'm leaving now, bitch. I saw it. Whew. She didn't fucking play. Them hoes, these hoes don't fucking play no motherfucking games, bitch. These hoes don't, these hoes didn't come to fucking play no mother. None of these hoes came to play fucking games. The Jocelyn bitches would fight. Now, the bad, them, everybody, Jada, Scotty was on go. Mariah Lynn was on go. Bitch, Natalie was on go. Bitch, the fucking uh, cabaret bitches would fight. It was bitches being drugged everywhere. Everywhere. Bitches was getting drugged. I'm over here like, and 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 Jocelyn talking about I love Coke. Who don't know I love motherfucking Coke? Glorilla, you got a line of dope? You got a line of Coke, Glow? Where Damn, Glorilla on that shit too. That's Armand Wiggins. That's 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 reporting. Wait a minute, not Glorilla. Oh, I'm so disappointed, Glorilla. Cha cha cha. Oh my god. Where the Coke at? I'm like. Oh my God! This bitch is asking for the coke on the TV. I'm dying. I'm like, oh my God! Jocelyn is high, bitch. She was high, boots. <sighs> so that was that. So we gonna definitely continue to follow the story. I do believe that there will be more beef between Jocelyn and Natalie. It is not over. Get ready to see some back and forth. So I'm here with it. Now, real quick, I wanted to play this clip of Taseki getting into a behind the scenes at the baddies in New in uh Nick Cannon event. Eat her. Eat her. Eat her. Eat her. Eat her. Yeah, a lot of down hoes, bitch. It's called Taseki, ho. <gasps> Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. What the Oh shit. Oh shit. Eat her. So as y'all know to to Siki, is that how she said it? I want to make sure I say her name correctly cuz I damn sure don't want no smoke. To Siki, listen. This is this is crazy. This is crazy, but I'm going to call this right here and call this right now. Y'all might not want to believe me. Tzatziki is the star. I know we made Krishan famous first, but Tzatziki is the star. Tzatziki is just rougher around the edges. So who fought? It was Team Baddies versus Jocelyn Cabaret Girls. Everybody fought. But apparently who set it off was Jocelyn, Mushin, Natalie. And then Natalie got held back. Damn. We're going to continue to follow this story. I, I more want to know the real tea between Jocelyn and Mona Scott. I could really care less about these hoes fighting. I really want to know who's eating who coochie. Now, I just got sent Orlando Brown's live. So let's actually go over here and let's see what he's talking about. Into a whole nother kid, okay. And and I if if I had to, it's on this phone. But it's like, bro, you knew who you knew what you was doing. You know what I'm saying? You had me rotting in jail for three months because you don't want the world to know that you have a baby by Orlando Brown. Mm. You let me sit in jail and was about to put me in harm's way because you don't want the world to know that you have a baby with Orlando Brown. You called TMZ and you told TMZ that I'm a threat to society and that you were going to exhaust all options because you have a baby with Orlando Brown and you don't want the world to know. 
This is what I mean by stop playing, bro. I, bro, you, you. I told him, I said, my brother, you got a whole family now, bro. You got a whole nother life as a man. I said, just be my son's mother. Just be Ashley LaWanda Ash, bro. Be, the, be, the, be my son's mother because that's what's right. You dogged me out. You knew what you did. You had me sit in jail. I got out and I still didn't even say nothing. I still promoted the movie. I did every single thing. You know what I'm saying? That a a a a father would do for my you know because I know that this dude got my son, but he done went from female to male. What? You know what I mean? Like what am, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to act like I'm embarrassed? I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I mean. Like how how do you how do you go through with something like that, knowing that somebody that you you lay down with. You gonna invite them to your house and all of this and all of that, and and on another hand, isn't it isn't it sad to see how how far these people have fallen? He's on here going off on his baby mama, on his baby mama child. They stop a product of how they were raised and who was around them. Don't just all I can tell you is make sure that you know exactly who you are dealing with. You got to know exactly who you're dealing with. Look beyond and look further. You know what I'm saying? Like, the situation is some people just, they be so wrong that they can't they, they can't own up to it and be like, you know what? I was wrong. I I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how we're going to fix this necessarily, but I'm going to fix it. I did nothing wrong. These people put me in jail. These people done call me nigga. These people done put me in my drawers and arrested me, dragged me across the dang city. These people done, done cut me in my forehead, bust me in my nose. These people done, I mean, all because they have my kids and they don't want the world to know that they have a baby with Orlando. That's why none of them say my name. That's why everybody acts weird when I walk in the room, you know, and I'll be like, damn, the kid looks just like me, but the baby is white. A little white Orlando, just like how I got a white, you know, or the, or the kid is astronomically dark with my nose. And I'm like, I had a baby with somebody from Africa. I don't, I had a baby with Wesley Snipes, basically. I had a baby with Wesley. The baby's nose is this big, you know, daddy, daddy, come to me, daddy, daddy, I love you, daddy, oh, daddy, what can you do for me, daddy, daddy, I do not know where, the, where mommy is today, <clears throat> nose are big, I do not know where mommy is, daddy, please, daddy, uh, daddy, daddy, please, daddy, you know, can you feel my pain? This is the stuff that I be thinking, like, oh, what the heck? You know, I've seen Wesley Snipes. I'm going to leave that alone. Thank you for sending that to me. Um, but I'm going to pass this. That's giving me a headache. Anyway, <laughs> he, speaking of another Zeus Network member, because he was definitely on Zeus. Anyway, with that being said, we're going to continue to follow this beef between Jocelyn and and uh, uh, Natalie Nunn. Apparently, it's up and it's stuck. Um We'll be back later. We got some more to talk about. I think I want to come back live tonight and definitely break down this new uh, court documents. All right. Apparently, it's 14 pages. So I'm going to find it, and then we'll be back live tonight. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. And uh, we out of here. Uh, it's Storm Show.